Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to match any two images in terms of color and appearance. Look, what am I talking about? Let me show you here. I have a background sky on my first layer. Then I have a airplane here. I've just got a 3D image of an airplane. And then you realize that it's bright white and it doesn't match at all to the sky. It wouldn't look like this. So what have I done? I gone ahead and I made some changes. I adjusted its position. And let's delete that little one and put that one here. And you'll see here it's got the nice pink and purple and magenta and the darker tones that make it somewhat match the background image. How did I do it? It's very simple. Let me show you how from beginning. So I'll delete these two layers and here we go. The first thing I've dragged and dropped in, as you can see here, a background image. This is our reference image. Okay, now I'm going to go and take the jet that I found. I've got a PNG of a jet and I'm going to drag and drop that in. It's too small, so I'm going to go and increase the size considerably, especially because I want to show you the effect. So let's make it nice and big, just like that, and then I'm going to hit return. Now, obviously it does not match the background color at all, so let's go ahead and start making some changes. The first one, I'm going to adjust its position, so I'm going to say like maybe the airplane's somewhere over here and it's about to fly outside the image, whatever. Not a big deal. The next step, and this is the important one, is we're going to use the neural filters. There's a new one. It's Well, let me just show you. It's a neural filter, so you want to go to filter, neural filters, left click on neural filters, and then when you open this up, you're going to see harmonization. Harmonization basically allows you to select a reference image and make that image that you've selected match the reference image. So let me show you here. I'm going to left click on this little uh, turn on button. So I've turned on harmonization. Nothing's happened yet. Not to panic. What we need to do now is we got to select the layer. This is the reference image or the reference layer. We're going to select the background sky layer. And when we do that, it automatically makes some adjustments. And for some of you, that might be all you need to do. It's pretty close. It's a little darker than I might go for normally, but if you want to go ahead and adjust it a little bit, you can change the strength here. So I'm going to lower the strength down so it's a little less subtle and maybe a little less magenta because it's pretty darn purple and, you know, there's a lot of white in the paint. But again, all you need to do is go in here and make some adjustments as you see fit. If you want to go this way or that way and this way, let's make it a little brighter. Why not? Let's just oversell the effect. That way, you can go ahead and match any two images, including with these sliders and options, using the Harmonization Neutral Filter, and you can do it in about a minute. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.